Do you want the chance to win five Funko Pop collectibles? All you have to do is like our social media at IAYTD and Facebook.com slash IAYTD and keep on the lookout for as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway and one of you is gonna get five of those awesome bad boys. Yes, the ones you get will be in the box, pristine condition, and yes, it applies to anywhere in the world. So get to liking. We are also doing a 10,000 subscriber Q&A. So if there's questions you have, things you want me to talk about, questions you want me to answer, whatever, ask them in any of these videos and I will cover them in that video. Now on with the show. Welcome to IAY today and welcome to Comic Fights. Uh, before we get started, let's look back at last week and figure out who we think won. So last week we had King Shark versus Speedball. So strength and claws versus this ability to deflect power kind of back at someone. Um, there weren't a lot of comments, so I don't know where you guys were, but there were a couple that really stood out in defense of King Shark. Teen Life 101 said, undoubtedly this match goes to King Shark for the simple fact that he could eat him or fight him in water or close to a beach and bounce him around into the ocean and then do what a shark does. Sam Murphy had a similar thought. Could King Shark just swallow Speedball? He's certainly fast enough in water to charge and catch him unaware. Might be a bit more challenging on land, but still possible, I think. To your argument, I agree. Speedball does injure himself and is therefore vulnerable. So as long as King Shark only uses swipe attacks, he could very easily slice him to pieces. So I think if King Shark was smart enough to not use his fist, but to use his claws, Speedball might get a boost in energy. He might get some power uh, from that harm that's being done to him. Uh, but I don't think he would last long. It would only take a couple really good swipes to do some mortal damage. So this win is going to King Shark. So this week we are pitting winter against summer. So we've got Ice from the Justice League versus Jubilee from the X-Men. We are about to celebrate the 4th of July, our Independence Day here in the United States, and that is an occasion marked by fireworks. Uh, so thank you to the user that submitted that thought that we should do Jubilee. And to pair her up, I thought Ice would be an interesting fight. So let's start with Ice. Ice basically, as her name implies, has the ability to create and shoot blasts of snow slash ice at someone. So she can freeze someone, she can slow them down, um, she can probably create barriers, and she can travel by creating a slide-like way, like a platform, to move around. She can also, to a certain extent, manipulate weather, so creating things like blizzards over a massive area. Now to fight her, we're going with Jubilee. Jubilation Lee from the X-Men. And we are going pre-vampire. So back when she had her actual firework abilities, because now she doesn't have those abilities, but she's a vampire. Very uh, different. So we're going with old school Jubilee in this fight. Her ability is to basically create little explosions that look like fireworks, uh, but she can control where and to an extent how powerful those blasts are. So she may not have a lot of control, uh, so she kind of just shoots them out sporadically, but uh, the potential is incredible. They've said that she has the ability to explode things on a subatomic level, but we haven't really seen her do that. So what do you think would happen if these two found each other and for some reason, under some scenario, had to fight? Um, put your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, happy 4th of July to those of you here in the United States. Uh, happy beautiful weekend to those of you everywhere else. As always, give me your thoughts for future fights. I always appreciate it. Uh, most of these videos come from ideas that you have given me. So really this whole series is from you, by you, for you. Uh, so give me your thoughts and we'll see you next week on Comet Fights. You wanna fight me?